We left the last video testing Linux CNC with the Remora enabled NVM control board. So uh, the next step is to remove our temporary uh, programming cable and put the, the controller back together. We can now wire up some stepper drivers, add some motors and uh, make things move for the first time. Before moving on to the HAL configuration for Linux CNC, just take a few minutes to, uh, to discuss the, uh, the JSON configuration capabilities of the Remora firmware. So the Remora NVM, just like the standard version of Remora, uses a JSON configuration file to enable various features on the controller board. Uh, we go back into uh, the configuration samples and just have a look at the Remora NVM basic configuration. You'll see here a NVM basic configuration.txt file. So this is a JSON configured uh, text file and when the firmware is first flashed onto the controller board this is the, the configuration that the controller board will use. And here we've got basically three step generators. These are the only modules that the Remora firmware is loading. That's fine for getting up and going, just like we've done, but of course we want more features to be running on the controller board. And uh, the first one of those is most likely going to be some in-stop configuration. So I'll take you through uh, very quickly how to set up a, um, an input in the configuration file. Also in the same configuration is another configuration text file which is a full configuration so this it, this JSON file enables all of the features on the controller board so all six step generators and all of the IO that is available on the controller board so you can use this as a, um, a place to start cutting and pasting the various step generators inputs outputs etc that you'd like to configure on the NVM. So back here on the Linux CNC computer, as I just mentioned, we've got the basic configuration file and the full configuration file. This configuration will add a switch onto input number three. So this is basically would be, say for example, if uh, this is going to be the, the XM stop, for example. So we can copy uh, this for the input number three and then we can add this to the configuration. It is important that you respect the JSON uh, formatting, but when we go to upload this to the controller board, we'll find out if uh, we've got a good format or not. So I'm going to save this as, as config.txt, replace the one that I've already got there, and then we're going to upload this to the controller board. So in the configuration, you'll also you'll find a Python file called uploadconfig.py. This Python uh, script is what will allow us to upload uh, the configuration file to the controller board. So I'm going to open another terminal here, and we're going to run this script. with the, uh, the name of the configuration file that we, uh, we just, uh, just saved. Okay, so that's uploaded that correctly and restarted the uh, Remora InBen firmware on the controller board. If we go to Linux CNC, we can now see that input working. So we've launched Linux CNC and 
One thing to remember with Remora is that uh, for any of the I.O. to work, we must have communications with the controller board running. So we've got to have the, um, the controller board out of emergency stop. So that basically means that uh, the communications is, is working with the controller board. So we're going to have a look at the health configuration to see um, this input working. So if we go into Remora and then into inputs, so in the configuration file, so we've configured input number three to use data bit or input six, and we've told it to be inverted for the moment. So back in Linux CNC, if we watch pin six, so we can see at the moment that the input is high and uh, the switch that I've connected to the controller board is a normally open switch. And we can actually see that uh, turn on and off now as we, um, as, we, as we press the switch. So our input is working. We may not want that to be normally high when it's open. So what we can do is we can go back into our configuration file and we can set this to, to false. Save that. And then we can again upload that same configuration file go back into Linux CNC, so the controller will have rebooted. So we've lost our communications again. So we can enable Linux CNC again. Here we can see that the input is low, and if we press the switch now, we'll see that go high. So that's how to set up an input on Remora. Thanks for watching.